Science Museum. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children, follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes. yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow, now it's easy. <gasps> My goodness, how does that work? Well, it's... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes. That's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? I am here. Where? I can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Or maybe in the future, this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. <laughs> Which explains static. What does that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, 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 me. Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push. One, two, three, push! Wow! I'm moving! Yes! That's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me! me, me. It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect. In you get, Edmund. And uh, this is completely safe for children, too? Yes. The rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling. <laughs> That is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Pepper loves the science museum. Everyone loves the science museum. Daddy gets fit. Mummy Pig is watching a Keep Fit program on television. And four and four. Come on now, that's right. Bend it, stretch it, bend it, stretch it. Ah, I love watching telly. What's this, Mummy Pig? It's a program about doing exercises to keep fit. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to exercise. I'm naturally fit. 
You don't look very fit, Daddy. Your tummy is a bit big. I'm very fit. I'll show you. What shall I do first? Touch your toes like this. Easy. Daddy, stop pretending that you can't touch your toes. Uh, I'm not pretending, Pepper. Daddy Pig really cannot touch his toes. Oh, dear, Daddy. That's not very good. Mm. Maybe I should do a bit of exercise. Yes, Daddy. And I will start tomorrow. Daddy Pig, you have to start exercising now. Oh. Don't worry, Daddy. I will help you. Oh, all right. Peppa, you're in charge of getting me fit. What should I do first? First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One. <laughs> two. There. Very good, Daddy. Now I want you to do... 100. 100? Yes. Come on, children. Help me make lunch. I'll help as well. No, Daddy. You've got 100 press-ups to do. Oh. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> three. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are in the five, kitchen making lunch. Six, Daddy Pig is seven, still doing his press-ups. Daddy is doing very nine, well. Ten. Yes, eleven, I do hope he's not overdoing 12, it. I'll go and see. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Daddy Pig, you're cheating. You should be doing press-ups. Oh, uh, there was something interesting on the TV. Naughty Daddy. Maybe Daddy will have more success with my old exercise bike. Aha! This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. It's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. I know. You can use my bicycle. Yes, and then you'll get some fresh air as well. Daddy Pig is going to ride on Peppa's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals, these are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa, I know. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is pie. <laughs> Getting fit is quite hard work. <sighs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Help! <laughs> Daddy Pig has been gone for a long time. Mummy, where can Daddy be? Don't worry, Pepper. Daddy must be really enjoying himself to be away for so long. <laughs> Daddy! Where have you been? I whizzed all the way down the hill. Then I had to push the bike all the way back up again. Oh, poor Daddy Pig. Well, at least I've done my exercise. Yes, for today. What do you mean? You'll have to do some more exercise tomorrow. What? Daddy, to get fit, you have to exercise every day. Oh, no. But don't worry, Daddy. I'll make sure you do it. Yes, I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> It is almost bedtime. Pepper and George are just finishing their supper. <sighs> Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we play in the garden? But it's almost your bedtime. Can we play outside for just a tiny bit? Please, Mummy. Please, Daddy. <laughs> all right. But you must come in when we call you for your bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they get their energy from. Pepper and George are playing one last game outside before bedtime. Look, George. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. 
they are going to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Look! The biggest puddle in the world! What a huge big puddle! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, bath time! <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, we found the biggest muddy puddle in the world! I can see that. <laughs> Quick, into the bath. Oh, can't we just play outside a bit longer? <laughs> no, it's bath time. <laughs> <laughs> are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy, <laughs> we are not even a tiny bit. Sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Pepper and George have their bath. <laughs> Pepper likes splashing. George likes splashing. Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pajamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. <laughs> now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. <laughs> Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George like stories. <coughs> when Pepper goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr. Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, <coughs> the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey Book. Pepper and George like the Red Monkey Book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time there was a Red Monkey. And this Red Monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, Red Monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> now Pepper and George are asleep, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> it is bedtime for Pepper and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. Fun fair. Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> Fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? Okay. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy. I'll try, Pepper. But I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy. A giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the helter-skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. 
Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> one pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the Blackberry Bush. Peppa and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <coughs> Today, I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. 
Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. Mwah! You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going, Ah! Help me, help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So, you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> 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 Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. <laughs> the only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <laughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <laughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. 
No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hi there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. <laughs> Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirate talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Arr! Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr! Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swallowed by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh. Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yeehaw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. 
Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! This be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> <laughs>